Is this the proof that there are billions of AMC synthetic shares? Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I wish to discuss AMC stock with you. In the past week, we have witnessed two indications that there may be billions of AMC synthetic shares on the market, right? We cannot say for certain. We will also explain why. We will also discuss the performance of AMC stock on Friday and what we can expect from the stock market and AMC for the remainder of the week. Thus, the current price of AMC stock is $8.17. AMC was able to complete over the amount of resistance that we had charted. In this vicinity, the times were around 8, 8, 10, 8, and 12. You can see that when AMC began on Friday, its price was pushed down, but was subsequently able to recover and finish above the resistance level. Yes, sometimes the price movement will go below the resistance level, but AMC was able to push up all the way to $8.7863 before seeing a slight sell-off at the conclusion of the day. I believe that was related to the choice chain. There was a final opportunity for option sellers to push AMC below 8, but there was sufficient activity to maintain it above 8. I was enjoying, you know, like a man weekend. So I deny didn't have an AMC video last night. That is why we did not discuss it last night. But it was fascinating to observe AMC behavior in this instance. And I believe it was positive because, after such a large swing day the day before, on Thursday, when AMC soared, 25% returned, closing at approximately 13%. The fact is that even though it was a tumultuous day, AMC ended up finishing a flat. It's a positive sign for next week that there wasn't a massive sell-off back to the 7 area where it was. AMC stock price has previously surged and then experienced the sell-off the following day, occasionally as it was for SDD. And we will discuss this in a moment. Why that was a possibility for this momentous day that we witnessed here. Therefore, it will be interesting to examine the stock market. SN, P500 was slightly down, but it was able to maintain its position above 4,000, which is a very encouraging sign for the upcoming week. However, Suchastic remains rather high for the stock market, so I wouldn't be surprised if the SN, P500 retests the 4,000 level and even breaks below it next week before possibly reversing course and resuming its upward trend. Barring the occurrence of a black swan event or some other calamitous news about the economy, interest rates, CPI, or something similar, I do not anticipate a breach of this trend line in the near future. Even though the market was flat, it appears like algos and large money are causing the stock market to rise in such a way that the VIX continues to decline, correct? Thus, we observe a 4% decline in the VIX. You can see that it is at 1,906 and that the VIX is classically full and considerably below the bottom, right? Typically, this is an indication that the economy will rebound. But as you can see, even when it dropped into the teens a few weeks ago and a few days ago, it returned and then retreated. It was incorrect that there was insufficient tread. In the stock market, particularly in light of Powell's dovish comments, we're observing an abundance of bullishness, right? Intriguing situation involving the Russell 2000. Remember that the Russell 2000 is far weaker than the stock market, or you could call it the S&P 500, as many people invest in S&P 500 index funds, which keep many of the stocks in the S&P 500 afloat. Consequently, the Russell, which is comprised of mid-cap stocks, has declined dramatically since its peak at 2500, although it did sneak up to the 2000 mark in August. And now we're again observing a march upward to the 2000 region. It will be intriguing to see if it can do that. Remember that after the pandemic, the Russell had a somewhat sluggish recovery, and that as the stock market continued to rise, the Russell remained extremely flat for the whole year before reversing course. Consequently, it did not see the same type of pushback as the other players, but it did experience significant growth. There were foxes in here. Consequently, there was considerable pushback on this note. So I would not be shocked if there is a slight retreat here. But AMC itself is a separate business, I believe, right? It occasionally moves with the stock market, but I believe it is its own self in its current state. Now, I'd want to tell you that I've been thinking a great deal about AIP recently. AIP has generated much discussion among the AMC community, and I believe I mentioned that I view AIP in two different ways, right? In a moment, 
We will discuss the fact that AIP is used by AMC to raise a substantial amount of money. But I added that personally, when I look at my portfolio, I view AIP as an extra, in the sense that I view my AMC stock shares, and I am not attempting to say, well, if they hadn't done the AIP, we would have been in X or Y. And I'm saying, okay, Ape, if it increases, I'll be really grateful. However, I am monitoring my AMC shares and AMC price action. And if AIP increases, excellent. And I began to realize that it is vitally crucial for AMC stock to raise funds for AMC company to raise funds and to demolish the negative thesis supporting AMC short holdings, right? If they are able to raise a substantial amount of money, a few billion dollars using AAP, and if AIP returns to 10 or even increases to 20, they will be in a position to do so, right? When it opened, the time was 10, right? And AMC cost is almost $8. Therefore, it should be in balance, right? They should also be at 8 o'clock. Consequently, short sellers continue to sell at short. In the past, Wednesday and Thursday existed. There was a great deal of commerce. Friday, considerably less so. They were attempting to maintain it around $1. And, you know, since it's so inexpensive, there's often a lot of barcoding, which tells us that there's a lot of manipulation. The algos are anchoring the price at $1 out of concern that the AMC may use this as a massive fundraising tool in the near future. When looking at the market capitalization of AIP on Yahoo Finance and another site, I believe it was Apple Finance, the number is 4.4 billion. Is that correct? Therefore, if you do AMC, you will obtain the same market capitalization. This may signify two different things, right? AMC is worth $4.19 billion, which is not the same market capitalization as Apple. Sorry, right? I made a linguistic error there. Not the same market capitalization. This is the point I wish to convey. Consequently, this entails, right? Either their code is not looking in the correct location, or their method for computing market capitalization is flawed, or two, they are doing things correctly, and there are 4.4 billion app shares available, right? We discussed the idea that there are numerous ape shares out there. We do not know how many were allocated, but AMC businesses should know how many were allocated to the broker. Correct. I'm not sure. Perhaps they should receive communication from them. We saw that the number of shares on loan reduced little. It makes reasonable that when the price of AMC rose considerably from $5 to $8, there would be some short-term sellers who decided to cancel their positions or exit the market to avoid losing money or receiving a margin call. However, this pertains to the short-term one. It's more like day traders or swing traders who go short and upon observing a large price movement, begin returning shares. However, it will be quite intriguing to see what happens with AMC stock and how this plays out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Fellas, we appreciate your watching. I hope to meet you again soon. And as I usually say, let's create a fortune.